I think the characters that we love the most, the ones we become attached to, the ones that become family members, if you will. We, we feel as strongly about these fictional people as we do the living, breathing people in our, in our world. I think part of it is because, well, we invite them into our living rooms or we sit in a dark theater with them for hours on end. And we love to visit their lives. We love to hang out with them. We relate to their desires. We understand their backstories and feel emotional about it. When they do something that we don't want them to do, bad choices, we get really upset. And so I think that part of it is not necessarily an obsession, but it becomes a very emotional relationship that we have with these people because we see ourselves in them. They are us, we are them. A good character has a desire that the audience can relate to. Characters in fictional universes tend to, if there's good drama, they tend to chase after those desires. I like to begin with drama equals danger plus desire, and that initial desire can be born of a backstory. For example, you might have a character whose brother has told her that she's never gonna amount to anything. And that becomes a kind of motivational factor. It becomes that character's desire. I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to prove to my brother that I can rise up and be a powerful, intelligent, awesome person. And so that's the struggle. And it's a desire that we can relate to because maybe someone in our own lives has told us something similar. Pretty simple plot, but it's born out of a backstory becomes a desire, becomes a defining moment for a character, and desire often becomes destiny. That is my destiny. And I will serve it no matter the cost. I think when a show or a film series is coming to an end, there's a sense of excitement, there's a sense of dread, um, but we know that we want to see that ending. We love that show so much. We're accepting the fact that it's going to come to an end, but it's better to have seen that show, seen those characters rise up in that ultimate conflict, if you will, and then finally, the sort of denouement, life will go on, we will go on, everything will be okay, and very soon, another story will come along and do the same thing to us all over again. When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers.